beauties so i'm back with another tutorial this is going to be a valentine's day inspired look on my model paradise make sure you guys follow her i'll leave her info in the description bar below because she is a model in the chicagoland area but we're just going to get into this tutorial focus on this cut crease I am going in with some micellar water to get rid of the excess makeup that was in her brow area and then I'm just going to start prepping the face with my serum, moisturizer and primer all over the skin. I do already have a tutorial on her skin routine as well as a full brow tutorial. I'm only showing this step because I am doing the brows last. So I just thought that I should input this, but I do this step in literally all of my tutorials. So if you want to see a more uh, focused look on the skin, be sure to check out the previous tutorial that I did with her and I'll leave it in the description bar below but whenever I'm doing the brows after the skin what I like to do is first go in with a concealer and outline the bottom portion of the brows by doing this it kind of helps carve it out and gives it that sharp look without having to worry about it as much at the end you don't have to be super super precise once you get towards the end because you already carved it out and then i'm going to go in with a concealer that is closer to her foundation shade and i'm going to use that towards the front of her brow area as you can see i'm trying to make sure that those are as even as possible because if the concealer is not shaped correctly underneath you will definitely be able to tell once you go in with whatever brow product you decide to go in with so now i'm just blending out that product with a fluffy dense brush and then i'm going to go in with my myron uh clown white base and just apply that onto the lids I actually got this idea from a YouTube video I seen, but they used the Ben Nye um, Clown White, and it was like way more expensive. So I'm like, let me use this instead, and it's a great, great dupe. I would say, even though I haven't used the other one for what it's supposed to do, it works amazing. So I will definitely be using this again and again on a lot of my products or videos. So now I'm just gonna go in with this hot pink shade from that Juvia's Place palette and I'm going to start packing that product into her crease area. I'm going to make sure that I'm taking this shade and really carving out what type of shape I want my cut crease to make. This is going to help me do a lot less blending in the long run and really maintain whatever shape I'm trying to go for. On the outer portion of the eye, I'm gonna make a V shape, and this is going to help us maintain that cut crease shape that I'm gonna be going for. You guys will see once I start cutting the crease, but for now, we're gonna focus on blending. So I'm taking a light pink shade that was in that Juvia's Place palette, and I'm just going to take a fluffy Morphe brush and focus on blending out that outer portion of that hot pink. As you can see with my brush, I'm holding the end of the brush because I want to have a very smooth transitioning, you know, soft gradient effect. I want it to be very, very well blended and I'm moving in the shape of the crease that I created. So now I'm going to go in with that Morphe 39L palette, I believe. I'll leave it down below, but I'm going to go in with that deeper shade and just emphasize that um, cut crease shape that I was going for earlier and just making sure that I am blending that along the way as well. So 
so when it comes time to cut the crease you want to make sure that you're lifting the brow up so that if your client has hooded lids or anything like that you are getting the full you know eye space and are really you know able to get a very fine line you also want to make sure that you're using a brush that is very sharp a concealer brush um, Kiki Adams has a video that is very good on showing you how to get a very very um, flat concealer brush so I would recommend you guys go check that out but I'm just going in with that same Myron clown white and carving out that shape and then I'm also going to go back through and just pull down any excess product that might have been built up on that line I'm going to go back on the other eye and show you guys exactly how I, you know, shaped it with the concealer because my hand was kind of in the way on that eye. But I also go back through and tap the product dry so it's not creasing up so much. So as you can see on this eye, I'm also just, again, following that shape that we already did with the eyeshadow. And I'm going right below where it would get almost the color will almost get lost and then i'm going in making almost like a wing, a big wing eyeliner at the end and then i'm also going to take some of that deepest eyeshadow that we use from the morphe palette and add that along the crease to emphasize that color taking that light pink shade i'm just going to pack that all over the lid space I'm not using this for the color as much as just to set the eyelid, but I wanted it to be more on the lighter side. So it did add more of a pink hue to the entire lid space. And then I'm going to go back in with that magenta shade from the Juvia's Place palette and start creating almost a halo effect into that um, cut crease we just created. Taking a light pink shimmer shade from that Juvia's Place palette I showed you guys earlier, I'm just going to pack that onto the center of the lid and inside of that negative space we had at the top of our cut crease, I'm just going to add in a pink glitter into that area just to add a little pop to the look. So at this point, if the look is giving, just leave some pink hearts down below because I just need to know. <laughs> but I'm just going to start going into the skin for now. So like I said, I do have a full out tutorial on how to achieve a skin look on her. So I'm not going to focus on the foundation just too much. But I do want to show you guys the process that I do in between doing the skin and the brows so now I'm going to take a brow pomade and yes I know I haven't used a brow pomade in a long long time but I just want to try out this benefits prom brow pomade that I got from Ulta so I'm just going in and outlining the bottom portion and top portion of her brows and then I'm going to lightly fill it in and use my spoolie to do a lot of the blending work i'm not going back in and applying any more pr additional product after my initial um dip into the product so it does have a lot of longevity with the product i would say like you only do one dip and you get all this product that pulls up but i would say that that's also kind of dangerous if you're not used to using the product so i would just say use it a couple times before you go in and try it out but it does look very very pretty so now i'm going to start concealing her under eyes uh nose area brow uh area and chin and also carving out her cream contour 
So I had got this iconic London cream blush and it just was not giving how I needed it to. So I went back in with this Milani um, liquid blush and it was doing what it's supposed to do. I love this. So I don't know. Iconic London isn't, it's, I don't know, maybe for a different look, but for this dramatic look, that milani was giving i know y'all seen the angles <laughs> but i'm just gonna go in and start blending out all of that product around the concealer and the contour and blush making sure that <laughs> okay it gives i know y'all see it and then start setting the under air under eye area where the concealer was You always want to make sure that you go back in and set your cream anything with a powder. So I'm going in with my bronzer and I'm also going to take that same bronzer and use that to contour her nose. Get it very snatched. And I'm also going to you take this time to now set the remainder of the skin and also apply the powder blush. I wanted this to be a very doll-like look and blush is one perfect way to do that. So as you can see, just applying that Anastasia Beverly Hills blush really gives it that, you know, happy jolly type of look. And then I'm going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup powder and you take a sponge and outline the underneath portion of the bronzer and blush. So like I said, I wanted this to be a very doll-like look, so I'm going to take a light pink eyeliner and put that in the waterline. And as you can see, it adds a whole nother look. <laughs> it adds a whole different type of energy to the look. And I just wanted to show you guys that if you have your clients look up in a way, it does make it very, very much so easier for you to apply your eyeliner underneath without them tearing up. And also, I'm going to show you guys the difference that if you ever put eyeshadow on the top of the lid, you need to apply eyeshadow on the bottom because just look at this. This is a huge difference. And, you know, I need you guys to just make sure if you take anything from this video, what you do on the top, you must do on the bottom. It just ties the whole look together and gives it its own, you know, type of personality. You know what I'm saying? giving bronzed strawberry shortcake so let me know if that's the vibes you know so since she has lash extensions i'm going to take a disposable spoolie and just start to brush out her lashes this is going to make sure that they still look fluffy and full and don't really disrupt the look you don't want to have very sparse clumpy lashes with the dramatic eye look doesn't really go too well so by combing them out you really make sure that they remain fluffy so now i'm going to add a couple of rhinestones in a heart shape right below the brow and i just use some like duo lash glue to stick the rhinestones on and just did it in the shape of a heart like it was really really simple really easy and it adds such a cute touch to the finished look So 
so getting into this lip combo i got a lot of questions on this lip combo so what i decided to do because i wasn't sure if i wanted to leave this matte or go in with a gloss i went in with a juvia's place brown liquid lipstick and i just used that to outline the perimeter of her lips and then i'm gonna go into the center of her lips with a matte lipstick a light pink matte lipstick that i got from my vendor but in between applying the lipsticks you want to make sure that you first have your outline very precise have your clients show their entire lip space before you go in because you're really going to see any crooked lines in the lips and also i find that using a brush to apply your center lipstick shade makes blending a lot easier but hands down having your client pop their lips will be the best way to blend so as you can see in that short little clip the matte lipstick was giving very cute but if you know me you know i'm a gloss type of girl so i'm just going to apply icy from forever rain onto the perimeter of the lips and then i mixed flirt and party girl onto the center to really get that light bubblegum pink um tone onto the center and i had her pop using her lips and baby it was giving barbie like <laughs> it's something about these pink looks that just i don't know maybe i'm just one of those girls who love pink but make sure you guys shop these glosses they're on sale right now for seven dollars and 20 cents and make sure you get these glosses before they sell out because we are low on inventory but that's the lip combo let me know down below if you guys like it and this is the finished look make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and let me know what type of videos you want to see next we have a lot in store for february and more pink looks on the way so be sure to subscribe see you guys soon